Hello, Dr Bridget here with another Prescription for Success. Today I'm going to talk about the unconscious minds taking everything personally. I don't know if you know, but your unconscious mind takes everything personally and that's things that you do, that's things that other people do, that's things that you hear on the radio, on the telly and things that you see in the newspaper. So from a positive perspective, it works really well, say in mastermind groups where you have, say, five people around who are wanting to grow their business and they want to be really successful. And we have a hot seat and people talk about what's going on in their life and what their challenges are. And your unconscious mind's listening to all of this. And all of a sudden, it'll hear something that it'll relate to you. And that's really the power of the must mind is different perspectives and then you're taking them on. And um, it's also quite useful because um, Chris, who does my videos for me, was talking about um, an event that's coming up recently and he invited me and he said he was going to talk, ask lots of important people and my unconscious mind went, oh, so I'm important. <laughs> so that was quite funny. Also, it can be unuseful. So you can be standing in a supermarket queue or you can be watching things on telly or whatever and someone else will say something that's absolutely nothing to do with you. So I was standing in a queue in Sainsbury's the other day and someone said behind me, if I don't stop working, I'm going to make myself ill. And because I've been working quite hard recently, my unconscious mind went, oh, so you're going, you're going to make yourself ill. Um, which wasn't particularly helpful because I then proceeded to have a, a dream that night about um, that I was going to have voluntary euthanasia. <laughs> so I was in a queue for the lethal injection. Um, interestingly, in my dream, I decided I wasn't going to do that. But it's probably a direct uh, consequence of someone in a queue that said that. Um, yeah, so really interesting. So, you know, you can make yourself ill by listening to what other people say. So, you know, when things are on the radio, when they're on the television, if you're watching a lot of negative things, if you read newspapers where everything's about doom and gloom, then it can start to lower your mood. You can start to take things personally. And it actually changes your model of the world. And why would you do that? Because if you're happy being you and where you're going and with everything that's around you, it's probably better to avoid things that are negative. It's also another reason for having great people around you, positive people around you, so that, you know, you don't have those mood hoovers that just drain your energy and say things that start you doubting yourself. So it's just one facet of the unconscious mind that I want you to really pay attention to and make sure that wherever you are or whoever you're with, you're with positive people. So that's my prescription for success. And now I've got myself out of my voluntary euthanasia queue. I'm hoping to see you next week. Bye.